Just wanted to make a quick little video on how to install the Tesla video card in the PowerEdge R720, R730 series servers using my power cable. And one thing you want to make note of is the labels. So one side says MOBO, one side says GPU. Just pick the shortest abbreviations basically so the labeling would look correct, nice. And there's different tab widths. So technically this cable can be plugged in backwards. So you can plug the GPU side in the riser. And in that case, it'll short your server out and potentially damage something. But basically as long as you have both ends of the cable plugged in, um, you can't really do it wrong because this end with the extra wide tabs can't be plugged into the GPU. So Movo side goes into the riser. And you basically fold it in half, and there's this little channel here that you can run it down. Just like that. You leave the cable there. And then what you'll want to do is you'll take your GPU. And I like to take it so the card it goes under the slot. You kind of rotate it down. And then once you get it close, oops, you may need to push the riser back just a little bit and then you can line it up with the slot. And then I uh, I like to put my fingers on the back of the riser and then on top of the card, and just push it together and lock it down. And then from there, just take your other end of the cable and plug it into the card. Nice, neat, and clean. Normally this wouldn't be there, just this uh, server has that. So to, to remove it, it's the reverse, unplug your power, Remove the uh, blue retention clip. I need to push down on the locking tab. And I kind of like to wedge my thumb in this little gap. Let's see here if we get the camera to focus probably. And this little gap right here, thumb, pointer, finger, kind of whatever is convenient. And then you kind of push on the back side of the card with your fingers while you're pushing down this and then your thumb. Kind of push everything apart. And then get it out. You just uh, lower the card under the slot and then rotate it up. Now for the other slot. So same deal. Mobo side goes in the riser. A little bit more of an aggressive uh, bend to the cable. It's kind of why the uh, heat shrink is so far back. And there's not really a cable channel for this one, but I just uh, route it under like this. And basically, same technique. Kind of rotate the card in under the slot. Oops. It's easier to do this when the tripod's not in the way. And then once you get it close enough, you can uh, slot it in. Um, you can also remove the card retention mechanism. It'll look different on the uh, R720, but you can remove that to make it easier. It's not that hard to do, but I'm lazy, so I <laughs> do it the lazy way. And then after you get it all locked in, same deal, just plug in the cable, and as you'll see, it kind of routes neatly in that channel under the GPU. And then same deal, just reverse the steps, remove it, unplug the power, remove the um, tension mechanism and this one this riser doesn't have a locking tab so you just kind of wedge it out like that kind of push against the card and the riser at the same time and once you get it out just kind of rotate it pull it out like that another thing to keep in mind which isn't really relevant to this video but is important to know uh, when it comes to riser 2 so we get that to focus um, this top slot is for CPU, goes connects directly to CPU two. So if you have a system like this test system I use um, that is single CPU, so as you see, one heatsink, one CPU, uh, any slots that are labeled CPU two will not work. So if you install a Tesla card in your server and it's not working, I can promise you it's not the cable. You just might not have two CPUs installed. It's less common with these particular servers. Usually the R720s, R730s have dual CPUs because there's no reason to spend the money on them if 
if you're not going to fully populate the CPUs. But either way, hopefully that's helpful, and thanks for watching.